now, WBRZ News 2 starts with breaking news. We are cutting into programming for breaking news. We've learned that a plane has crash landed near a canal just off Plank Road. Yeah, traffic is backed up. Law enforcement and first responders work to get the incident under control. We have a crew at the scene. News 2's Taylor Ruback is there. Taylor, set the scene for us. What happened? Hey, good morning, you guys. Still very limited details at this time, but we do know that it was a plane that crashed right here near this canal, right off of Plank Road near Blount Road, I believe. So we still have some EMS that's right on the scene. I'm going to do some double duty for you guys and see if I can zoom in for you. You can see the plane right here over on the side of the road. We were told that everyone was able to get off the plane. Uh, still unsure about those injuries. Hopefully no major injuries have been reported, but you can see the the front of the plane has popped open. It's very low into the grass. Can't really see any other damage other than that. I saw a couple of EMS and police personnel walking around, making sure everything is, is good to go over there. And you can still see we got a lot of police presence over here as well, making sure that traffic is flowing smoothly. Not really seeing too many backups, which is a good sign. I believe that's a hazmat truck that's on scene as well, making sure that this area is clear and good to go. So like I said, details still very limited at this time. Haven't heard of any injuries, but of course, whenever those details come available, we make sure to bring those once they do. For now, reporting live in Baton Rouge, Taylor Rubach, WBRZ News 2. All right, Taylor, thanks for that great job hustle out there to get there. And here's where the plane is down. You see on this map, it shows you exactly where it is. Plank Road, of course, runs along the east side of the airport near the big uh, Coca-Cola bottling company right there. And we understand that that plane is down in the ditch right in that general area. And Brandy, as we just saw, they looks like they're blocking off mm -hmm. parts of Plank Road just to, as they investigate what actually happened. And the information that we have right now, no reported injuries. Both people on board were able to get out safely. And we know that it's a Cessna plane. We've gotten all that information from officials. And of course, meteorologist, storm station meteorologist Marissa Nuzzo has been tracking the weather. And Marissa, you're keeping an eye on that map, how it's affecting things over there. And did the weather play any role in this? Yeah, before we get to the weather, we'll take a quick look at the live traffic map. We just saw what was happening uh, with Taylor's shot there, and it does look like cars are able to pass through, and it's lighting up all green here. We haven't had any traffic reports coming in from DOTD, so shouldn't be a major concern, but I would really advise that you avoid this area for the next couple of hours until they can get this moved away. Probably going to be a process in order to get the plane out of the ditch, and then they'll obviously have to tow it out somewhere and again that's right here it is on plank road but you can see it's mostly green it is far enough away from the interstate that it's not affecting any interstate traffic now question is was weather playing a role in this so if we could switch it over to weather graphics i'll go into the weather studio here and i'm going to drive the radar for you but here's the same map get yourself acquainted these of course are the runways on the airport and this right here is Plank Road. In my hand, I have a printout of all of the wind observations that come directly from the airport for the past two hours or so, and I have not or it has not reported a wind gust in excess of six miles per hour for the past two hours, so I don't think that this was a wind problem. However, there was a very brief time period where there may have been some rain and it does line up a little bit with the time of the incident. So I'm going to drive this out for you on the radar so you can see what I'm talking about here. Bear with me as I have to kind of back this up. So if we back up to around 8 o'clock this morning, this is 815 between about 830 and 845 is when a very small little cluster. If I zoom out, you can see just how small this is. A little tiny storm that extends barely through the city of Baton Rouge, just barely clipping this area by the airport. Again, we are looking right here. You can see, let me put my pointer on. Right here is about the area that we're looking. Look at this LA 67 sign right here. So. Watch that as we go between about 845 and 9 o'clock. There may have been two bouts of what looks to be very, very light rain. So this wasn't a major weather problem as it came through. It was not a the airport not picking up on 
uh, any winds again in excess of six miles per hour. So was weather involved? It's looking like it's pretty unlikely, but there was rain falling during that time. So it's possible that may have contributed to the crash that uh, we are seeing. So I'll continue to keep my eye on this and with more rain on the way, hopefully they'll be able to get this cleared up and get the mess out of the way before any more rain is back in the area. Go ahead and send it back to the desk. All right, thanks, Marissa. And of course, if we can pull up that imagery again, we are breaking into co coverage to show you a small plane that has crash landed near the Baton Rouge Airport along Plank Road, not far from the Coca-Cola plant. You're looking at live video right now from the site of that crash. Pretty big response from law enforcement and first responders there. What we do know is that there are no reported injuries. Both people on board were able to get out safely, and we know that this is a Cessna plane. And, of course, like all plane crashes, NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, will likely be on scene in the next couple hours, if not now, to investigate and figure out what happened. And just to give a little perspective, a single-engine Cessna, and this is not far from general aviation at Baton Rouge Metro Airport, where you see a lot of these kinds of planes, small planes that are coming in or out, whether they're uh, prop planes like this one or, or jets or small jets. As Marissa said, it doesn't look like the weather played a factor in this, but sometimes those runways, they get very slick, and we don't know why this one uh, ended up going off the runway into that ditch there. But we can't tell how badly damaged the plane is. doesn't look like there's a lot of... Uh, damage to the actual body of the plane but you know with the propeller the engine we don't know what it's done to that but we do know uh, as brandy was telling you uh, airport officials say there were two people on board and they got out okay nobody injured in this it's just kind of a big mess and there you see law enforcement uh, army of law enforcement officials and and paramedics uh, uh, walking by they're on the scene right now just starting their investigation into what happened but we're going to continue to follow this throughout the morning We'll have the very latest on WBRZ.com. And, of course, uh, coming up on News 2 at Noon, uh, we'll have complete details on this plane crash near Metro Airport. Right now, it is 939 on the dot. Stay with us. Uh, you're watching a special report from News 2. Let's go back to regular programming already in progress.